Ready? Play. Anna Cohn, a former All-American at the University of Tennessee. Play, please. And McEnroe, an All-American at Stanford. During McEnroe it, will serve. During his one brief year out there. That's right. In, in one year, he did it all in tennis, at least. Sure Is kind of vintage Anacone at the very start of this match. Good return. Paul moved in, caught the high volley, and just knocked it off. Good motion there from McEnroe. But the anticipation was great. Now watch Johnny just takes off right there. There's a wide open court. We're not sure he's going to get this ball, but he brings it around. Flipped the wrist at the last minute. A lot of spin on that ball. Brought it in. He's a very good self-critic, if you can say that that's a, a good quality. Oh, yes. That's McEnroe serving volley. Love. Great reflexes now. Watch Johnny. Just picks the half volley up here. Takes off immediately to cover the open court. What was even more amazing to me was that John had to ask what the score is. This guy usually 30. knows when new balls are being put into play, but watch his rifle return. Beautifully struck by Anacone. Two solid backhands, Barry. That looked like vintage McEnroe. 15, He's returning very well off the backhand. Quick racket back there. Nice blocked on that shot. Anacone barely gets his racket on the ball. And then John waits, lets Paul make his move to his left, and then hits cross court. Good racket control. Excellent return to serve. Set that up. Anacone at 15 30. Play McEnroe kind of snuck 15, in behind 40. it. The applause of the fans speaks for itself. Let's see it. McEnroe. It was a real hot trot for McEnroe, Barry. He did some nice running to get to this, and of course it took him right through the net post and around. Drew a lot of applause. Oh, yes. Hey, McEnroe. The backhand is cooking off the ground for McEnroe. McEnroe leads Beautiful backhand by McEnroe. Now watch how John gets that racket back so early on that shot. Then he's got his opportunity. He can go either way. But watch Anacone as he anticipates so well right here. Goes over, covers the forehand volley. If you are new to watching the U.S. Open, either live or on television, you won't necessarily hear these aircraft every day. It depends on the wind conditions at LaGuardia as to whether or not the flights are directed over this stadium. Forty thirty. Nice handwork here by John. Pretty quick. He takes a pretty big swing at this. And though it was intercepted by Anacone, the shot was easy for John to finish off. Great pass from Anacone. Solid shot from Anacone. Again, that's shot by McEnroe. It's plenty deep, but Anacone back so quickly. Look at that footwork. He comes off the ground, gets a lot of 
body weight into it, even though he was kind of moving backwards. Oh, oh. two in a row. No question about that one. He whistled it. That ball stayed hit. Really shocking. We, we had seen him go down the line on this, Paul Anico. Now he flips it cross court with the same efficiency, the same success. Well, you knew he was going to pay for that as soon as it came off his racket. Same thing Fish. that happened to him the last time he tried feathery touch on a drop volley. It's set up very high giving John all kinds of time to put the ball away. Whoa. Whoa. Two big shots there. Neither of them easy. 15 left. That was a tough return to serve. Watch this return right at McEnroe's feet. He barely gets his racket on the ball, but here is a great reflex right there. That was not an easy ball to handle right into McEnroe's body. Slapping there, Anacone, perhaps the best point of the match thus far, because Anacone really played great here. McEnroe with a good topspin. Now just slicing that ball. John had already forced him back to the baseline after Anacone. Watch this backhand. Well, that's why there was that self-deprecating laughter, Barry. You know, John knew he came in on such a weak shot. Volley exchange goes to Anacone. And he is really getting the job done. He really has played so well. And I think he realized that at this point in the match, I just keep serving a few more times and I'm in the second round. Another beautifully angled shot. 40-15. Great return here by Anacone. McEnroe gets over. Hits the ball almost parallel to the net. Good try by Anacone. Remarkable serving by Paul Anacone. 18 aces at this point. Another great lob, a good return. Oh, yes. Well played all around. 15 left. Best point of the match, no question about it. McEnroe with a great shot there, but Anacone gets his racket on it. John just lifts the ball cross court. Great touch on the full run. selection on the return. Well, the play here really is a, a bodacious shot of John's to try to play. Such a delicate shot at such a crucial point. You know, you'd think he'd really sting it. Instead, he didn't. There, McEnroe on the full run. Again, the quick hands of Anacone. Great point. And Tim, there's the difference. John right here with a big opportunity to win the point. Let's that ball get over his head. A good lob, though. And suddenly Anacone in a great position. Almost doesn't put it away there. And then goes with the forehand volley. But McEnroe, again, with a great opportunity to win that point. Let's it slip away. 
It's Deuce. 30 all. Anacone, all match long, has anticipated well where McEnroe is going to return. There's another ace, number 23 on the match for Anacone. And we are at match point. There is the McEnroe entourage. Mark on the far side. John Sr. Very concerned group at this point. Ooh, this just. would be nearly another ace. This would be the earliest exit for John McEnroe ever in the U.S. Open. A four-time champion. Went out on the round of 16 against Manuel Arantes in 1977, his rookie year as a pro, and again in the round of 16 in 1983 to Bill Scanlon. Back and row in. Ah, Knocked it wide. Match. Anacone. Paul Anacone. In four sets over John McEnroe. 6-3 in the fourth. And Barry McKay, that last shot of McEnroe's really told the story of the entire match. It sure did, Tim. He had every opportunity there. It was not that tough a volley. All he had to do was just hit it up the line, missed it wide. And so Paul Anacom, a very happy youngster at this point. Let's watch it again. Anico with a good serve. Comes in, McEnroe now. I thought he'd come in on that ball, but he didn't. Waits, now he hits the shot. Nice opportunity here for McEnroe, and he goes wide. And there it was, game set match for Paul Anacone as McEnroe missed the forehand volley. A sitter down the line. Well, for Paul Anacone, a, a terrific performance with 23 aces on the day. We'll be back to meet him in a moment.